Hi and welcome to the Data Pitman channel. Today we're going to talk about creating a thesaurus file for Voss Viewer. This is a very common question I receive, so let's get started. First of all, you have to already have your data collection, but let's create a, a network visualization here based on a bibliographic data. Then we are going to choose one of the bibliographic databases of your choice, or maybe other kind of files like Arias and Note, uh, uh, RefWorks, whatever. And then here we are going to use, for as an example, um, a Scopus data that I collected about Zika virus for the 2019 year. Uh, let's go next. And here we got co-authorship authors, okay? I'm going to ignore the documents with a large number of authors because I don't want them to be um, out of this analysis. And click next. Um, put a little bit less uh, n the number of documents of an author that are necessary to be in the threshold. So we have 621 authors that meet the threshold, okay? And then we go next, and then we have the list of, of, of authors. Well, first of all, we have a problem that normally occurs with, um, with Scopus. That Junior is considered when importing the data from Scopus to uh, Foss Viewer is considered as an author. You have to eliminate Junior here. Uh, so we go, first we'll put uh, in alphabetical order the authors. Take a look if we find any kind of authors we want to put together. Obviously, we will find a journal here that we will keep it on. Uh, we will just right click the mouse, to select all the authors, and then select journal. That's one of the cases. Then we are going to take a look a little bit more to find out cases that we want to um, join together. Let's see what we have here. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we got Moreira and Moreira. Uh, probably this is uh, this is the same author. It's obviously you have to know about the data that you are taking a look at, so you can feel if it's really the case that you have to join these authors because it's just a matter of how they were named in a publication, and probably they need to be joined it as as notes. Uh, I'll try to get just another case here. Let me see if we have a very very. Um, easy case, otherwise we'll just keep it on. Let's just keep with this too. Uh, we then right click with a mouse and export the selected authors. Okay, I just save it as a thesaurus file. And then we are going to open this file in your favorite uh, plain text document editor. I'm using uh, Notepad++, but you can use the Notepad from Windows, the default one, that's no problem. We just select all of it, copy, and then uh, paste it on uh, an Excel spreadsheet. Then we can just eliminate the columns that are not interesting for us, just ex exclude them, and we just prepare this like in the first line label, and then replace by. by. Okay, Junior will be uh, just replace it by nothing because we just want to get rid of Junior. And in the case of Moreira ME, I'm just going to put together all that as MEL, okay? And here I already have my thesaurus. I just copy it, copy it back, paste it on my text editor, save this, and we're ready to go. Going down to Vosphere, I just go back and back and back till I find the, 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 the option of inserting a Vosphere file. There we go. I'm just going to select the thesaurus file. Okay. And when we go next and put the situation as before with a minimum of three documents per author, you see that we have 619 that meet the threshold because one was eliminated and the other was joined. Okay, so it's no more 621, 619, okay? And just go next till we finished, okay? And if we finished, we'll have here the graph that will be plotted by Vosvira, okay? Perfect. We can do the same thing with other keywords, okay? It's the same thing or anything that we, we can use the thesaurus file, we just follow the same rule. First we create, then we go next, then we go next again, we go to our 
database. Then I'm just going to try here the concurrence of outer keywords, okay? I'm just going to eliminate this thesaurus here because it's not the case. We just have to first run to see the list of the words. Let me just put this down a little bit to a minimum of two uh, occurrences of the keyword. Okay, and there we go. We have a list. Again, we can just deselect all keywords and then try to take a look here what need to be uh, done in terms of, of joining together. Antibody and antibodies, antiviral with probably uh, antivirals. We can hear also arbovirus and arboviruses. I think you have to take a look of all of it and then uh, export the selected keywords. Again, uh, I'm going to save this as a thesaurus file, substituting it, and then I'm going to open up with notepad again. Yes, there we go. Again, I just select all and put here. Just delete the ones that are not needed change this to label, the other to replace by, and then go uh, to define this as the, normally we, we put it in singular instead of plural. That's normally the right thing to do in terms of this kind of normalization. Okay, select this all copy back and save. And then we have out as our file again. I'm going back to Scopus, I go back, back, back and select my thesaurus file. Now it's a thesaurus of outer keywords. If we go and select again, you see there's now 734 meet the threshold and not 737 because three of them were join it together to the others and so the number were lower now if you just finished this and generate the graph our graph will be distributed here with all the terminologies and you can do a more thorough uh, organization of this also there's something that must be told here uh, that's important uh, that if you just uh, use this on the threshold that you're planning to use maybe you have other words that are in lower than that threshold that if joined it together will be able to uh, overcome uh, this position. So sometimes we do this thesaurus file lowering a little bit more of the, um, of the threshold so we can join the maximum number of words that are with issues that should be joined together and having a good result. Uh, obviously, this depends a lot in the, uh, the capability that you have to deal with so much data, okay? But ideally, we should make a thesaurus with co the complete file with all the authors, with all the terms and so, but not all times this is possible. But anyhow, uh, try always to go a little bit lower than the result that you plan to use as the threshold, the number that you plan to use as a threshold, okay? If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, subscribe, um, leave your questions below, tell me the city where you are, came from and that you're seeing this video. There's also ways to support the channel. You can see this on, on the channel and on the main video of the channel, okay? Um, any questions? See you next time. Bye-bye.